when black swan event happens as an option seller or creating credit spread is not in our favor then can it ruin all our hard efforts of accumulate first of all if you are trading with credit spreads you need to have a good decent capital so let's say you start with 10 lakh and you are attempting 0.5 to 1% that is per week and that should give you 10 lakh as in 5 to 10k per week the amount of risk we are taking obviously is imbalance we have much higher risk and very low reward for the credit spread strategy but what we do is we move this in our favor by using probabilities so this is the original state 1 we move it to state 2 and then the reward becomes much more likely although it is very little as compared to risk it becomes much more likely but now you are saying that if it is a black swan event and it goes against us what will happen i am not really sure what is the margin for a credit spread on bank nifty i think it is 15k so you have 5 lakh capital that you can use to establish credit spread so in 1 uh, lakh i can roughly establish 6 slots so maybe 30 lots so this is just indicative all right 30 odd lots i can make so that comes to around 450 so 450 i am using uh, as a number of lots and let's say i am uh, making roughly 20 or points and for that i am risking roughly 500 or points now let us uh, do some calculations this will give me 9000 and uh, if i lose how much will it be that will be 225000 all right so if it is a black swan event you are going to lose this much now obviously even if you get a weird kind of opening now against you uh, it will greatly increase vega your max loss will be limited to this on a huge position size by the way the vega how it will help you is uh, it will increase the premiums and then you can use them to establish other positions so you may have to cover this in loss and you can establish other positions to reduce your loss all right you may not be able to reduce too much but uh, let's say whatever you uh, end up losing 2 lakh okay now what has happened as your capital has gone down to 8 lakhs and this is a black swan event all right so this is this is a black swan event this is not going to happen all the time this is a one off but even if that happens and you lost let's say 2 lakhs and now your capital has gone down from 10 lakh to 8 lakhs how many lots can you still trade with 8 lakhs so you were trading 30 lots now let's say you will be able to trade 24 because you have reduced 6 lots because uh, you cannot now use 5 lakhs for establishing trade you can use 4 lakhs all right now this 24 lots if you still use into 15 so that is uh, still 360 shares and 360 shares and if you make 20 points on that that is still 7200 rupees per week and then corresponding the calculations will be made so what has happened what has happened is you are now making 1800 less 1800 less than what you were making previously so when i say credit spread is a income strategy that is precisely what i mean what i mean to say is that this capital our goal is not to appreciate the capital our goal is to make consistent income from that capital uh, instead of 36000 per month you are making uh, what is this uh, 29k per month so you are taking a cut of 7k so when i say credit spread is income strategy my job is not to appreciate this capital if you want to appreciate the capital then you have to use different strategies where uh, your risk is lower and your potential reward is more the probabilities are not in your favor but then you have to use your skills and your analysis to bring those probabilities in your favor or you should have a method that will help you avoid uh, some poor trades right uh, reduce the mistakes uh, try and make uh, most of the the good trades that you make and have a nice uh, part booking strategy that will uh, keep you in the markets uh, or the trade for the long time so all that you have to do and that is not a income strategy so even if you lose let's say 2 lakhs on a trade you still are not seeing a very significant drop in your income now how many times uh, is it going to happen that uh, you are going to get back to back black swan uh, events so black swan event uh, 
obviously is is unpredictable and let's say it happens in your favor then it's it's not at all disturbing your uh, trade in fact if it happens in your favor again the vega will increase and you will be able to take more trades and that will give you even more income for that particular month so the point i am trying to make here is that credit spreads are income strategies they are not designed to increase your capital dramatically it is not designed to give you growth in your capital for that other strategies are there this is purely income strategy and even if you lose big chunk of money and even if it everything goes haywire and goes against you you will be making a 20% loss i'm not saying you're not losing money you will be making a 20% loss but if your objective is still making income you will be making a little less but still you will be making some income and then you will eventually will be able to recover that loss but again i am telling you it's not your uh, objective so compare that with uh, fd fd is giving you uh, say 5 6% interest rate and roughly that is the inflation level real inflation is much higher than that so you are basically losing money every year on your fixed deposit every month on your fixed deposit and consistently you are losing money i have seen people families Uh, who were enjoying you know upwards of 12 14 16 percent of interest rates back in the day in india itself uh, and then suddenly over the last few decades the the interest rates dropped so much because it was an asset inflation period the currency in circulation increased dramatically and that created downward pressure uh, on the cost of money because money was available easily credit was available easily right and that resulted in asset inflation but the uh, cost of money uh, went down and that is probably primary source of income for many uh, people who have put their money in fds and they suffered a lot they suffered a lot but for you if the asset inflation is happening all you have to do is establish bullish credit spreads instead of bearish credit spreads so the point is that uh, far worse things are happening to your money uh, at other places and even if you lose let's say uh, one black swan comes to Uh, the party and uh, you know just puts you out of uh, it for a while uh, it's not going to you know hamper uh, your income too much okay have a very clear idea about what is your objective if it is making consistent income credit spread is a strategy for you but then you should not look at increasing your capital dramatically and also should not be bothered too much by one off black swan that catches you on the wrong foot that is the only way you are going to get hurt if it is in your direction you don't have to worry about it so that is one thing and again if you want to appreciate your capital quickly then you have to change your strategies then you have to look at the markets a little differently and that uh, whole game is completely different that can be played with debit spreads that can be played with uh, naked option buying that can be played with covered calls and so many option strategies are there uh, that you can use to increase your income uh, quickly uh, but then correspondingly risk will be higher and then may you may have to reduce your exposure uh, actually as soon as you make some money if your goal is income then that income should support you so uh, if you really want to make consistent income from your capital then you should be taking it out so your capital should not grow dramatically uh, that is the whole point here uh, if you want to grow your capital then and uh, see again what you can do is something very interesting uh, what i call as the catapult strategy all right so if you have seen catapults you know they, they are something like this they again use the principle of leverage this is where your whatever payload is and this is where you apply the effort and then this goes like this and it throws the you know you all almost have seen bahubali it, it's in that and lot of other movies so this is your uh, where you put in your effort and this is the result you get all right now uh, this catapult strategy how i use it is i would like to finance this effort with credit spreads and this is the the astronomical return or compounded return that you are going to get so these will be your uh, enhanced profits so how do i do it see you have to take a lot of risk and a lot of lots on a credit spread to give you decent return now imagine that you don't have that need to make consistent income still you can go ahead and establish credit spreads now let's say you are making 10k per week you have decent capital you are making 10k per week now that 10k you can use here and these are Uh, strategies which are directional strategies 
and which can give you quick capital appreciation like debit spreads option buying ratio spreads all these things now what is happening in a ratio is in the inverse ratio spread uh, your short options are less than long options so you have more long options compared to short options something like that back spread or something it is called anyways so what is happening here is that you have this uh, particular strategy here that is uh, going to cover your magnified profit part magnified profit part so let's say you have a few debit spreads and this 10k per week that you are making this can be leveraged to finance this strategy so you can buy some out of the money options if you are expecting a punt trade you can consistently fund debit spreads so obviously if you are taking let's say 30 lots here you are not going to be able to take 30 lots debit spread here because this is not much but let's say you can take 5 lots 5 lots of debit spread where your reward to risk is 3 is to 1 so 3 3 is to 1 is your reward to risk ratio so you put 10000 as your risk capital which is actually made from credit spreads and let's say you have bullish credit spreads all right and now what will happen is this 10k will become 30k if it works out and if it does not work out your capital is still safe it's not disturbed because uh, it is actually the profit that you are utilizing as long as your credit spread works. So let's say you have bullish credit spread and you establish a bullish uh, uh, debit spread. If everything works, market moves as per your uh, analysis, then this will make the 10,000 and this will give you additional 30,000. So instead of making 10,000 per week, you made 40,000 per week. Uh, and this can be repeatedly done. Uh, prudently not every expert is going to give you such kind of returns but you can continuously do and you can very quickly accumulate good amount of capital so that is uh, how you can leverage your credit spread profits to finance your debit spreads and that is what i call as the catapult strategy uh, that also you can do if you if you really uh, do it correctly you will realize that uh, these strategies they have uh, the potential to give you amazing amazing profits over uh, a long period of time so if you prudently keep doing this for a long period of time you will be surprised by the amount of uh, wealth you have accumulated